All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson eight, where we are now, because the word is fluent, we're really using that standard algorithm for multiplication. Uh, so really, we've moved on beyond just using that um, area model or the partial products model. Now we're using the standard algorithm. However, we are using estimation to make sure that we are still, you know, being reasonable with our answers. So first we're going to estimate the product, then we're going to use the standard algorithm. A lot of ways that we can estimate, so there's no one way to do it. In this case, I'm going to round uh, to the, oh, let's call it the nearest hundred. So I'll say this is going to round to 300 times 100, and I multiply that, and I'm going to get a th 3 times 1 gives me a 3, and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So my estimation is going to be around 30,000. Now let's just use that classic standard algorithm. So this is the kind of algorithm that parents should totally understand and remember back in the day because nothing has changed here. This is the standard old algorithm. So 9 times 2 is 18, carry the 1. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10, carry the 1. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, so we've got, so far we've got 2,808. Now we're going to multiply by that 4, but that's not really a 4, it's really a 40, so we know we're going to have a 0. And then 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so that's 12,480. Now we're going to move on to the 1, but that's not really a 1, that's really a 100, so we know it's going to end in two zeros. So 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, and now we're ready to add all that up. 8 plus 0 plus 1, boom, right here. 8 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14, carry the 1. And then 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, so we know that that answer is 46,488, and boy, I don't know, does that feel like it's all that close? Well, another way we could think of this, if we wanted to, we could think of this as rounding this guy to 300 times, and then instead we could round that to the nearest 50. We could call that 150, and if we multiply that, 3 times 15 is 45, then we would add three zeros, one, two, three, and boy, that estimation is 45,000, which is really close to our final answer. So when students are rounding and estimating, uh, they're going to want their final answer to be like super close to their estimation. Uh, help them walk through that, that they don't have to be, you know, precise in their estimation, that really 30,000 of our, est you know, our estimation being 30,000, is actually pretty darn close to 46,000. Of course, there's other ways you can estimate and make it easier or closer. Not really easier, but closer. But that's not necessary. All right. Um, let's, I think you guys as teachers understand how to estimate and then use the standard algorithm. So let's just move on to the next slide. All right, so we've got a publisher, and she uh, prints 1,912 copies of, of a book. Um, and in each run, if they run, if they print 305 runs, the manager wants to know about how many books will be pr printed. What's the reasonable estimate? So really, we know that we're going to multiply 1,912 times 305, and for this problem, all we have to do is come up with an estimate. It doesn't say, estimate, it doesn't say that we actually have to find the exact answer. Woohoo! So let's not find the right, the exact answer. Let's just round. And let's round this to 2,000. And let's round this to 300. And 2,000 times 300. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And then we're going to stick on one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. So we know our estimation is about 600,000. And that's it for that problem. 
So that ends lesson eight. So lesson eight, we are now fluently multiplying using the same old math that our parents used in the 1950s, <laughs> 1960s, whatever. And then, but more importantly, we are using estimation to make sure that we are uh, getting a reasonable answer.